I like to get outdoors as often as possible. That sometimes will mean riding my bike or just driving around. But my favorite way to get out is by foot. I do walk a lot. According to my phone, in 2021 I walked 3,102 miles. It was more in 2020 when I walked almost 4,000 miles. But this is not about the distance, it's about the amount of time that I spend outdoors. Quite literally thousands of hours, most of them with a camera of me. And as you can imagine, that gives me plenty of chances to make good images. The result is what you saw in my last video, where I highlighted my favorite images and footage from last year. It might be tempting to think that those were taken in just a handful of outings and trips, but nothing farther from the truth. The truth is that I went out hundreds of times, but most of those times, most of the times that I clicked the shutter, most of the videos I recorded, most of those were bad, they, they were terrible, they were failures. Long days out in the cold, rain and snow, a lot of hard work and money with nothing to show for it. Today most likely is going to be another of those times when I don't make any good images. Uh, this uh, place is not that exciting and the conditions are not that good today for photography, but I knew all of this before getting out and still I'm here anyway. I'm here because all of those bad images, all of those bad videos, all the times that I have to repeat myself in front of the camera, I consider them my training. You see, no one would expect to run a marathon with no preparation, but somehow because photography it's easy, because it's just clicking a button and everything is done for you, it might sound or it might feel like you require no practice at all. Of course this is not true, photography requires practice, the more the better, and that's why I like to bring my camera with me on my daily walks. This is something that I do every day and they offer great opportunities, great chances to make images. They rarely produce very good images, but I still try anyway. I try to see images, I try to notice things, I try to find beauty around me. This keeps my eyes sharp, I get to know my camera even better, the less I have to think about how to use it, how to do something, when the time comes, when it matters the most, the better. Getting out with a camera on a daily basis also helps me to stay active and to stay more fit, so I can stay out for longer and I can venture farther. The more time I spend outside, and that sometimes requires a little bit of pushing myself, especially in miserable conditions like today, the more I get used to it, the less that is going to hold me back once the chance that I was waiting for arrives. Because many times it is going to feel uncomfortable, we are going to be cold, we are going to be tired, it's going to be raining, it's going to be snowing, but the image that we are looking for is out there waiting for us. It also builds momentum, so the more I get out, the easier and easier it gets. In the the end, if we practice, if we train ourselves to see beauty in the mundane, just imagine what we will see when we go to extraordinary places. And before I let you go, I wanted to showcase the work of one of my patrons, someone who has been putting himself out there. His name is uh, Mohamed and he's got amazing work from the uh, city of Doha in Qatar. Check it out following the links in the description down below. And yeah, let me know if you are like me and like to practice your photography as often as possible and what you do uh, if you get out like me or if you practice at home, whatever you do. Thank you so much for watching and see you in the next one.